One of the great aspects of this project is to design and build the job from, from beginning to end. It means that we have greater interaction with our designers and we can work hand in hand with them on a daily basis to develop innovative engineering solutions and to develop construction methodologies that can complement this. The Nuns Island Bridge is in fact uh, two bridges. You have the Northern Deck and the Southern Deck. The Southern Deck is a four lane wide bridge that takes all the car traffic from downtown Montreal to the South Shore. The Northern Deck is a three lane bridge that takes all vehicular traffic from the South Shore back into downtown Montreal. That also incorporates a multi-use pathway which will be used by cyclists and pedestrians alike. The bridge is also designed with a 125 year design life, the same as the main bridge. And um, each bridge is approximately 500 meters in length and about 24, 25 meters in width. So apart from the Nuns Island Bridge, there's another 15 uh, bridges that have to be demolished and rebuilt from Nuns Island all the way up to the Turcotte Interchange, uh, which is one of the main junctions uh, before downtown Montreal. Probably the biggest challenge that we had was the installation of the superstructure. A uh, big challenge is obviously the weather with rain and high winds, especially when you're over the river. Also, quite a big portion of the girders had to be installed uh, using a floating barge. So, obviously, when you're when you're putting a, a huge 450-ton crane on a floating barge, that brings a lot of problems with it. Due to the shallowness of the water, it was very difficult for us to freely move the barge to within a lifting radius for each of the girders. So we needed to daily plan the positioning of each barge to make sure that we weren't catching any high points on the riverbed below. It's because there's residents in close proximity, we need to work with the environmental team to make sure that we don't bypass any of the noise limits. For us, uh, as uh, the environmental team, it is important to have a strong control on the noise levels. This is why each planned activity is uh, subject to prior analysis in order to estimate the uh, potential noise level generated by it. If we expect the noise to exceed the limits, mitigation measures are then identified in collaboration with the site engineers. It is very important for us to minimize as much as possible the impacts of our work. On a large-scale project like Champlain Bridge, the protection of the environment is a top priority. I'm just delighted to be working on such a huge, high-profile project with such importance to the people of Montreal and Quebec. So it's great to be part of the team and to experience the challenge with everyone else on this project.